time to turn trash into treasure. We will show you how to make sweet jewelry and accessories out of candy wrappers. It's a piece of cake. All you need to do is fold up links and then slide them together. Before you begin, it's a good idea to lay down some scrap paper so you don't get glue on the table. Choose your wrapper and lay the colorful side face down. To make a silver link, place the silver side down. Rub this special cap of the glue stick across the edge of the folded paper. This will make a nice crease down the center. Add a little glue along this crease. Now, fold in the edges of the paper so they meet in the middle. Rub with the cap to crease. Glue one side and fold in half. Crease with your cap. bottom ends into the middle. You've just made your first link. See, it looks like a V. Here's a tip. If a wrapper feels thin, just double up by gluing two back to back. You can make all your links at first, or one at a time. We recommend that you begin by making a lot of links. You can place them under a book to hold the links in place. Before you make your chain, slide your first link carefully into the hole punch. Fold it in first. Slide it to the back of the hole punch and try to center it. Now punch a hole. This is where you will string your cord. Next you will start your chain. Hold the punch side of your link in one hand and slide a second link into the loops on each side of the V. Take a closer look. Each link has one side with many folds and a simple side with fewer. When you make a chain, make sure the simple sides are facing each other. This makes it much easier to separate the layers and slide the links together. If you're having trouble, place a clip on the first link to secure and slide the second link in. Now slide in your third link. You may have to fidget to make it go through. Keep going until your chain is a desired length. 16 or 17 links should be enough to make a bracelet. To your last link, you'll have to make two holes, one on each end of the V. Slide one end of the V to the back of the hole punch. Center it, then make a hole. Do the same with the other end. Slide the final link into the chain. You're almost done. Take one piece of cord and slide it through the holes on both ends of the bracelet. 